guys. <laughs> Thanks, guys. My lash is bleeding my skin now. Welcome to my channel. My name is Barakat. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe, like, please give me a thumbs up, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Today's video will be two parts, a Q&A get to know me and the tutorial for this look. I'll put the time frame for the Q&A on the screen in case you want to skip to that part. But for now, let's get into this tutorial. I'll be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer on my cheeks, nose and forehead. Basically places that I get oily. I'm cleaning my brow hairs and getting rid of any oil because I'm about to lay it down using this glue stick. I brush my brow hairs up, then apply a generous amount of glue and press it in using upwards motion. Make sure you go back in to brush the hair and lay it flat. You want it as flat as possible. Now I'm just cleaning the excess glue off. I'll be using this powder and powder puff to just set the brows and get rid of any oil that is still there and just take away any shine. I'm using a mix of these two foundations. The list of products used will be in my description box, so make sure you check that out. Now I'm just applying the foundation on my face, applying it generously because this is definitely not my color. So I'm going to apply all over my face then I'm just buffing it out. I use tapping motions. I don't want to really swipe, just tap, 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 tap the product into my face. Tapping is better for depositing products into your face, especially when you want that opaque layer and when you want enough coverage. I'm using these lipsticks as face paint and also the first layer of color. I'm not applying directly but using my fingers to just buff it in and just place the colors properly. Next, I'm using a brush to blend it in properly and get rid of harsh lines to give it a seamless look. I just want everything blended and cohesive no harsh lines or just have that gradient effect everything all blended and smooth using this matte pink liquid lipstick to add more dimension to the edges and darken the corners i just wanted to have the whole gradient effect you know from light to dark the whole that's the whole shading effect you know just that's what gives it dimension more dimension I'm using this green eyeshadow to pack in color for the bottom half. I'm using a heavy hand to guarantee maximum color payoff and make the color opaque as possible. With small strokes, I'm using the black pencil to draw the outline for the skull. That's the eye socket, temples, cheekbones, teeth and nose. This will give me a guide to shading and color placements. This will make it really easier for me. With a wet wipe, I'm cleaning all the areas that I made mistakes and reapplying foundation. I'm just going to blend it in so that I won't have any harsh lines by the time I'm applying more color. I'm adding more depth to this look with eyeshadow and blending it in. For any place I make mistakes, I clean with a wipe and reapply foundation. Then I set the foundation with the eyeshadow. I started with this Colourpop gel liner but I realized it was dried up so I switched to this BH Cosmetics gel liner to fill in the eye sockets, temples, jawline and nose. This liner is the perfect fit because it's not black, it's purple and it's just the right fit for this look. 
with black eyeshadow and defining the crease then i'll use the same foundation to cut the crease and to double as the primer for the eyeshadow i'm not going in depth with this eyeshadow for the sake of the length of this video i'm adding highlights with a light pink eyeshadow to add more definition whenever you shade you also have to highlight for best results now i'm just shading again to give it you know more definition now this was the hardest part for me doing the lips oh my god it was so stressful because um straight lines are not for me i was just going back and forth but now i'm just spacing it out just creating the spaces for the teeth and i'll also go back in and just start creating the lines that's what i just did Now I'm using this foundation to just clean up any mistakes I made and add a form of highlights. I love these lashes from me, it's lashes, so pretty. I'm adding the studs on my face with lash glue. I waited for the lash glue to get tacky before I placed it on my face. I'm just going in with mascara to coat my lashes and pressing it in. This is the finished look guys, I hope you enjoyed it. The next part is the Q&A. So, first question is, what inspires your art? Well, I'll just say, I think the process, the process is really calming for me. I really enjoy it. As a process, I've done this with my outfits, having endorphins inside my body, giving me joy that I can wear this. Like, it came from my hands. Like, it's giving me joy. Okay, so I started painting, first of all, before I started, started painting, started drawing, before I started going. Secondary school was horrid. Farm horrid. Next question. Um, when will you do the video? I go come on your teeth just now. She said that. Um, do you know the annoying thing about this question is the person that is giving sending me the question and someone that has money. Next question is what's your favorite foundation brand? Um. Okay, I like L'Oreal. Next question is, what was your first inspiration and how did your art and makeup journey start? My first inspiration, like ever since I was very, very little, I've always been a lot of I've always liked to play, I used to draw everything in the body and my mother used to make me, she always got instructions on draw and all of that. So it's just from the love of art and I wanted to be busy in my face, I wanted to be snatched. So. <laughs> that's how the journey started and I was like, oh, I think I'm good at this thing, I can cash it off from it. So, next question is, what is your second cousin's third auntie's middle name? I'm sorry, please, it's not me I'm going to stress, I can't even just be going through all of that. Okay, okay. this is not a question, the person just put finally, yes, finally, after years and years. I mean, I read it yet. I finally made a YouTube. So, if you are like me and you're still saying, oh, no, it's YouTube, get a new get a new get a new start, and start recording. Next question is, what are your favorite things to do? I like, <laughs> I like eating. <laughs> um, okay, and I like doing makeup. I like doing makeup on other people's faces. Like, it's very calming. Once on my face, it's kind of stressful sometimes, but you have to start doing it. I hope that you can't really see me in the mirror, but that's just it. I like doing makeup on other people's faces. I like eating. I like chilling. Painting also. Please.
please remember to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, share, comment, any books you'd like to see me do, things like that. Please help me. See now, I beg, I try. I really try. I'm trying for you guys. I might say I'm too shy, I'm not gonna lie. But, like, you guys, please help me. Help my sister out.